and welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage. As you can see, uh, we've got a slightly upgraded video and sound rig and a new cameraman. So props to him for uh, helping us, you know, do this. It's um, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's uh, really fun to, you know, to get proper footage once in a while. But this video is not about the footage. This video is about this. And you guys might be wondering, Milo, what the hell is this? Whose car is this? Well, it's mine! <laughs> well, what happened is I finally managed to get a driver license. So, with a license, I needed a ride. So, this beautiful automobile is a 1986 Ford Escort. 1.4 liter with injection. It's the CL model hatchback. With a spoiler! It's pretty cool. It's got like 78 horsepower, 74 horsepower, which is not much if you think about it. But honestly, this car weighs just around 950 kilograms, which is this much pounds. And uh, well, basically, it's got surprisingly good power. I mean, let's be honest, this is not a race car. You're not going to do uh, any proper winnings uh, on any drag races with this little thingy. But well, it's gasoline, so it's got quite a punch. Honestly, it's a, it's a fun little, you know, driver, and it's cheap to use. Burns like 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres, which is, you know, considering this is a 31-year-old car, that is pretty, pretty good. But well, without further ado, let's get into reviewing this little thing, shall we? All right, so we've popped the hood, and as you can see, under the hood is this super, super clean engine. To be honest, I have never seen a 31-year-old car with an engine this clean. And from what I know, it hasn't been clean for the last five years or so. So this is like absolutely amazing. Here you've got a 1.4 litre injection unit with, uh, I think think OHV I'm not too sure about that no power steering as I've said before we've got ABS and uh, you know standard uh, hydraulic brakes we've got standard liquid cooling uh, battery right there so this is a pretty pretty small engine and the best part with this thing is look how much space is here I can work around this engine I can put my hands everywhere without any issue. There is no spaghetti hanging around forcing me to, you know, disassemble half of the engine off before I can start working. It's absolutely amazing. So with that said, I think it's time to, you know, get a bit of a test run for you guys. So let's get straight into it. All right, people. So I think it's, uh, it's time to take a wee trip. Uh, and without further ado, let's start up this uh, Lux Torpedo and get on our way. All right, so the car itself is pretty nice to drive. It's got no power steering, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit wibbly wobbly on the wheel, but it's not too bad. The suspension is surprisingly good for a old car and in addition to that the seats are extremely comfortable i mean it's seriously surprising when i bought when i when i look at this car i thought ah oh, geez this is going to be a nightmare to drive because you know i'm 194 centimeters which is this much feet and well i thought you know this will be a you know absolute nightmare to drive but no there's plenty of space it's actually quite enjoyable to drive this car and it's it handles very well I mean look it's just one finger one finger and this is no power steering I'm doing it with one finger I mean seriously it's a good good quality car I mean it's a Ford so you know I'm not surprised that this uh, <laughs> drives and handles pretty well the only thing is when you give it a lot of gas it sort of bogs a bit but well, that's it. It's really that's it. I mean, it's a it's a great tiny car to drive around. You know, have some fun with your friends. Maybe 
do some trips, stuff like that. Honestly, I am very pleasantly surprised with how this car handles. And guess the price that I paid for this car. Normally people would say around 25,000 kuna or something. Nope, I've managed to steal this car for just 18,000 kuna, which is this much dollars. It's a cheap car. It's a really cheap car, seriously. It's a, I mean, in comparison, a computer in Norway, a PC, a good PC with, you know, modern specs. It costs around uh, 25 to 30,000 krona. And I bought this for 18, which means, yeah, it's a cheap car, not gonna lie. So right now, we are going off to a cool place where we'll do some really nice B-roll 360 shots of the car. I think you will enjoy that. So uh, this is just, you know, some standard driving, so we'll be a bit boring. So we'll meet you there. Alright people, as you can see the car is looking pretty neat, there's not that much more that I can show you right now other than, well, maybe a wee bit of a drive, but that's not that interesting, so we'll keep it relatively, you know, tight, do some driving, do some cool uh, beer also with the uh, drone, oh I love those drone shots, absolutely amazing, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, there will be a lot more to come with this car, hopefully, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can leave a like, comment, perhaps even a subscribe, I don't know, you can consider that, helps out the channel, you know, and, uh, well, as always, keep on riding!